at this wind and that bee is still holding on without any problem in this wind. Look at all these lovely lupins. I will have to remove them though because they are invasive species so they take out all the grow, growing zone from the normal flowers and you can see in the back where I've been cutting a lot of the lupins it's starting to come out other kind of flowers but we still have many of these but it is such a shame because they are truly beautiful Wow, look at that. It looks beautiful. It's a shame that we have to cut them down, but this is how it is. There are pink ones, white ones, blue white ones, and lilac ones, and blue ones. Look at this. Beautiful. I started digging a little bit here next to the plinth and the the soil is so soft and easy to dig and the plinth goes way deeper than what is visible there. So this, it would be really awesome to dig out the foundation of this house. But I'm not sure if I can do it manually with a spade. <laughs> Probably we need an excavator for that. But that is quite expensive, so not something I can afford at the moment. Look at this fallen silver willow with all those leafy branches still. It looks so bizarre. There is some life here where I planted the irises. That's the iris there, I believe, and up there. And maybe this one here. So it has survived. There's just a lot of other stuff growing here that's not supposed to grow here. But this is the forest after all. So, of course, they will grow here too. <laughs> but there is some life here. That's nice. The rhubarb I planted here last week has grown a lot. But it has some kind of disease, I think. 
and it's flowering already. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know what this is here. It looks like rust. Maybe some kind of fungus, but it looks okay otherwise. It's very big at least. I'm gonna plant these chickpeas or garbanzo peas. I need about 13, so maybe there's enough. And uh, they should be around 15 centimeters apart. But they don't grow like very tall, like the other normal beans. So let's see. I put a little water here, but as you can see, it's so dry that it only makes the surface wet and the rest is completely dry underneath. Oh, this is completely different. You see that it says that the plant should be 40 centimeters apart and the line 75. So 40, I have 15. <laughs> That's like half of what I have then. Hmm, maybe I should put a li little less then. Yeah, let's, let's cover these holes. And I measure again. But if I thought it was 15 and this is 40, so maybe 30 would be good. <laughs> one here, one there, one there, just four then, four. And then one, two, and three here. That's only seven. But this is just for testing, so let's just put seven then. Here are these garbanzos. I like to eat them. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. I only have seven plants. And I. There's just so few here that I will only plant one in each hole. Hopefully they all germinate. Maybe I can do a some kind of pool here or an A-frame that would be awesome I think an A-frame like this will be better and one in the middle I just have to get more material is this a chicken head? it has teeth and a beak there Maybe not. I don't know. Does anybody know what this skull is? I just found it there in the soil. What is that? This is onions. Do you want to give it some water? Yes. It's pretty heavy. Do you want me to empty first a little bit? Yeah, it's so much. Is it too heavy? Here and I'm on this side too. Well, this is the second time I try with the turnips, so hopefully they don't die this time. Nikola! Oh my God! Inte busa, snällt till sammans. These are the shoes I bought last year. They are very nice for gardening, but I got attached on a metal hook and it broke like this. And they are now not watertight anymore.
we woke up and it was raining a lot. It's just showering down. So that is good. We don't have to <laughs> give water to the plants now. I'm gonna plant the peas here in two rows. I'm gonna do a A-frame trellis, probably with something there in the middle as well, and then some ropes. But I will start by planting the peas already, so I get them in the ground. These are the peas I took from last year. I think they were called Progress 9, maybe. And then they were organic peas. So I took some for this year as well. Let's see if they germinate well. I will put them about five centimeters apart. And in case they don't germinate that well, I will put two in every second, two peas. There are some dark clouds there and behind this forest I could hear thunder so it might start raining at any point. Here I'm going to plant some of the tomatoes, but they won't all fit there in the tomato bed. So I will put the squash here in front, two of them. The corcozel and the bush baby. is getting loud. I need to hurry up. I will put the corcozel here. And the bush baby on the other side. with the tomatoes that's a good thing they should be good enough companion plants I 
probably have to escape the rain soon. This is for the peas. I don't need that much soil for them. I'll just put a couple of bags. Okay, it's raining now, so I have to wrap this up. We are leaving home today as well. Okay, I have to escape the rain now. <laughs> The thunder is just above us now. I just made it into the barn before it started raining a lot, a lot. But I'm glad it still rains because the earth is still pretty dry, even if we had had some rain. But I didn't manage to plant the beans or the peas, the second batch of peas. So if it rains like this, we are going to go home today, so we won't be able to plant those this week. But the next week I will do that when I come back. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you again next week. Bye bye. Have a great week.